How often should you weigh yourself? Are you weighing yourself every day? I mean, I don't know if you can see the dust in this nasty scale, but that's how little I weigh myself. If you are someone that is always, and I mean always weighing yourself, maybe even daily, and I say this because I was that person many years ago. I was overweight. I was so overweight that I was working out so hard and I was like, did I lose more weight? Did I lose more weight? You're going about it the wrong way. So on today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show, we're going to break down why you should or shouldn't weigh yourself every day. Ready? Let's go. Hey, this is Jason Roselle and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. Now, regardless if you're looking to lose weight or gain weight, the scale is such an evil friend, and I'll tell you why. If you're trying to lose weight and you jump on that scale and it's so easy, it's in the hallway, it's in the kitchen, it's in the bathroom, wherever it is, you hop on, you're wanting, just like everybody, instant gratification. So if you're trying to lose weight, you see the numbers not going down, you're instantly gonna get sad. You're trying to gain weight, you don't see the numbers go up, you're instantly gonna get sad. So let me give you an analogy on how you can mentally just get rid of this anxiety that's causing you right to get on the scale so grab a piece of of bread let's just say a piece of bread and i've given this analogy to many of my clients throughout the years and i want you to put the piece of bread on top of say a counter a table anything grab a cup of water i want you to pour the cup of water on top and all over the piece of bread that bread instantly is going to act as a sponge, right? So as an example, you could have drank a cup of water or say maybe a gallon of water that day. You could have gained one, maybe even two pounds, which is why you have to, can, you just have to get out of your head on always constantly having to weigh yourself, right? A lot of times we compare our life and our physique to other people that we see on television, on magazines. You don't know what they've been through or what they've had to do to get the vascularity that maybe you're seeking, right? For example, anytime I've had to do magazine shoots or TV shows, and I've done gazillions amount of these, of these things, I had to detox my body. Some days I would drink just sips of water prior, uh, one or two days prior to my shoot, eat tuna fish, and cucumbers just to take out as much water as possible and of course you go weigh yourself you're seeing to maybe even five pounds less than usual but that's not normal that's not the way to live the way to really determine and keep yourself accountable instead of living with instant gratification number one slowly but surely how diet deficit eating less than what you're burning number two working out with weights number three making sure you're eating four to five times a day, at least three meals, one to two snacks, right? And let that gradually cause you to lose weight. Now, if you're looking to gain weight, you wanna eat a lot more calories while also working out and doing less cardio, make sense? Most importantly, I don't want you to have to live anxiety-driven each and every day having to hop onto the scale. If you want a better determination on as to how to do this, grab just a regular, um, uh, I'm, Now, if you wanna do this the most simplistic way, grab a measuring tape. I want you to measure at least once a month your neck, 
right? Your waist, your hips, your arms, and your legs. Number two, look in front of the mirror. See how you look, right? That is gonna make a major difference versus just jumping on the scale on number three, right? See how your clothes are fitting. Grab a smaller pair of pants right now, right? That haven't fit you in a while. And say your goal is to fit into it, instead of having to jump on a scale each and every day, just work out, eat right, and then gradually get yourself into those pair of pants and let the magic just happen on its own. Now, if you're stuck and you're saying, I want some help with this, I do one-on-one -on -one mindset wellness coaching. We work through everything with relationships with your food, your fitness, and your internal journey to help you prosper to the best level ever, okay? I hope this episode helped you. Make sure to take a screenshot of this, share it, tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you have any questions, drop them below. As always, keep it caliente, stay inspired, and I'll see you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer, and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle, and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.